Let's get more now on the health risks in and around that nuclear plant in Fukushima. Joining us now is medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton with more on that for us this morning. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Chris. Uh, let's talk about the radiation inside because we're getting reports here that yesterday a reading of 1,000 millisieverts was recorded near one of the reactors. Now, for the people exposed to that type of radiation, what does that do to the body? Well, first, Chris, you have to put this into context. And really, when we talk about radiation exposure, we look at it on a spectrum. The units we use, as you said, are called millisieverts or sieverts. And you have to understand, a little exposure thought to co cause no harm or some cellular damage, a lot of exposure can cause death. One millisievert is about the amount you see in a CAT scan. You see about three millisieverts a year just walking around the planet. 400 millisieverts does increase the risk of future cancers, in particular thyroid cancer. At 1,000 millisieverts, that's where you start to see a considerable risk of acute radiation sickness. All right, one of the things we also want to talk about in one of the big reports this morning that there have been been uh, radiation detections in the water supply in right. Fukushima right now, which really leads to a greater problem, does it not? Well, not really a surprise. As it's liberated into the air, then you, we do expect with changes in weather and just atmosphere in the environment to see some of that affect the ground and the water supply. Also, when you talk about radiation, not just the root of exposure, so whether it's inhaled or touched or, or ingested, but actually the time that you're exposed to that radiation, less amount of time being preferable to more, obviously, which is why they're rotating those rescue workers in and around the plant and limiting their amount of time, but the distance from the exposure. So as they measure these amounts of radiation, the farther you get away from that source is key. If you get three times as far away from the source of radiation, yep. the amount of radiation you get goes down by a ninth. Let's talk about the symptoms of radiation sickness. Well, when you talk about radiation sickness, Chris, you're talking about the most susceptible cells in the body are the most actively dividing cells. So that's in our gastrointestinal tract. So acutely in the short term, you could see things like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Then you start to see bone marrow affected. So a decrease in the white blood cell count. These can be seen anywhere from hours days, weeks, months, sometimes even years down the road. The long-term effects, though, something along the lines of what we saw and witnessed with Chernobyl in the right. years after. Thyroid cancer is the big concern, the most susceptible children, babies, teenagers, anyone up to the age of 18, and pregnant women. So we're going to be watching them carefully. There's a lot we still don't know. All right, Dr. Jen Ashton, thank you. you.